Have you seen on the website for Comet that you can actually grab these planets and just toss them around like little balls? But one thing I noticed is they don't really interact with anything. They don't feel very real. Let me show you how to recreate this with a real physics engine in JS to make it feel like these planets have actual mass to them. So for the starting point, I just uploaded a screenshot to Builder.io and told it to recreate the site and use Matter.js as the physics engine. Let me show you a bit about how Matter works. So the first two things we need are an engine and a runner. The engine holds the world and the runner gives us control over it. The next thing we need are bodies. Bodies go into the world and they are what collide with other bodies and utilize the physics engine. In our case, the first thing we want is a set of walls that they can bounce off of. So unlike the actual Comet website, they don't just leave. So we make this create walls function where we're going to define four bodies around the element that contains all of these planets and content. We use bodies.rectangle where we give each one an X, Y width and a height. In our case, calculate it off the container elements. And then we can create each of our planets, which is a circle body. We can pass in our initial X and Y. And if you like a couple optional properties to control the physics. In our case, we make our lives a little easier by defining an array of our planets with their initial positions and some tailwind classes. Then we map over them to create our bodies. We can then add a function for when the pointer moves, where we're going to update body positions directly. We're going to use the recently added to browsers pointer move event for that function. We'll add a pointer up and pointer cancel. These are a bit like mouse move and mouse events but they also apply to other things like touch or pens. Now, when we end drag, we're gonna apply the throw animation here. We need to keep track of velocity manually using a loop and reset the dragging state to say we're not dragging anymore. For each of the planets, we're gonna to listen to the pointer down events and we'll update some of that dragging state accordingly. Then we're gonna call runner.run. So the physics world updates inside the runner, but we still need to sync that to the DOM. That's where on an animation frame to keep this performance, we run a loop where we look at all the bodies from the physics engine and we sync their state, including their top, left, and rotation to the DOM. And then you just have to stitch that into your CIDR app. Now, in my opinion, that stitching process is something that's tedious and telling an AI assistant like Builder.io to give you what you want, how you want it, is one of the best ways to have a starting point that either you can customize directly in the code or continue to prompt to refine. Like I can say whatever I want, like every time two planets collide, have them split each into two smaller planets and add whatever spin you like. Like here's my version of planets that explode into smaller planets when they collide. Go check out the matter.js library for more cool physics you can apply to your sites and apps and hop over to buildroot.io to start prompting and experimenting and making cool stuff.